Hello friends, so next topic is your data presentation. Data presentation means what? You are going to represent the data in a graphical way. In theory part, we have seen how we are going to represent the data in a graphical way. So we use histogram, then you, we use ogive curve as well as stream and leaf plot to uh, plot your uh, data in a graphical way. Here first we are going to see histogram. Okay, So the data is given for your histogram. Okay, and we are going to find the histogram for this data. Okay, so the data is being 138, 164, 150, 132, 144 till what your 140, 145. Okay, so you are able to see the data is uh, in a form of an individual series. Okay, but we are able to find the histogram for only continuous series, right? So we have a classes and the frequency of that class. So first we are going to find the classes of this data item. Okay, now how to find the classes of the data item? Uh, we know that in a theory part, right? So uh, we'll check what is the smallest value in this data series. So you are able to see that I guess 125 is there, 102 is there. So 102 is what? A smallest value from this data series. So we can start your classes with the 100, okay? So we can go and start the classes with what your hundred, right? Then, uh, what is the highest value over here? The highest value is I guess um, one seventy nine, right? One seventy nine is what highest value? So uh, your classes can be up to what one eighty, uh, okay? So we we can write a classes like hundred to 110 right 110 to 120 120 to 130 likewise till what one seventy till one eighty okay so this will be what your classes so we're going to create a sequence for this so in bin we're going to store the sequence now seq function is going uh, using seq function we're going to create a sequence so your sequence is starting from what 100 till what 180 okay so and your sequence is incremented by what 10 so what will be the starting value of your sequence your starting value of sequence will be 100 next value will be 110 after that next value will be 120 after that next value will be 130 till 180 it will get increment okay so we can print this bin if you want then we are going to use a cut function to cut the frequency this frequency into the bins so that's why we are going to pass two parameters to your cut function that is x and bins. So we're going to cut the your data item x into what bins. After that we're going to write this uh, bins or the cut values into the table form. That's why we have a transform and table to find what to give uh, write your frequency distribution table. Okay so I'm going to execute this much part only till now. So are you able to see this is your data we have successfully read 40 items over here okay then we created a bins okay then we printed a bins right so this is the output of your bins that is 100 110 120 130 140 till what 180 then we cut the bins into what uh, sorry your egg, uh, data item into bins after that we printed that data in a tabular form so as you know that uh, we discussed that your classes are being what 100 to 110 uh, 110 110 to 120 likewise your classes has been made right and the respective frequencies of it okay a stand for your classes and fp fr eq is what your frequency now the main part that is what your histogram 
for histogram to plot a histogram in r we have a hist function okay h i s t is you what your hist function which is going to display or which is going to plot the histogram in your r okay so we want to find the histogram for what we want to find the histogram for this data now this data is stored where this data is stored in your x variable okay so we're going to pass that x variable to your hist function then breaks means what we going to breaks the data into what your bins so we going to break is equals to bins we're going to pass the bins variable to your break parameter okay now what do you mean by main the main means what the main heading for your histogram okay so main parameter uh, attribute is going to we're going to write a title of your histogram that is what histogram for student weight okay then x lab means what the label for your x axis that is weights and y label for your uh, uh, y axis that is frequency and the color of this uh, histogram will be what blue if you want you can change the color of it okay then i'm going to execute this code okay are you able to see this this is what your histogram yes this is what your histogram as i said main will be what the heading for your histogram that is histogram for student weight on a y axis you have your frequency on a x axis you have what your weight now compare the uh, frequency and we'll check the uh, bars okay so this is this class is starting from what 100 to 110 110 to 120 120 to 130 130 to 140 140 to 150 150 to 160 likewise 1 till 180 so what is the frequency of your first class that is 100 to 110 1 so this is your uh, rectangle for your 1 okay over here on a y-axis your data is distributed in with the two point interval okay then your next class is also having a frequency of one third class is having a frequency of two so you are able to see that histogram is plotted uh, in a right way okay then for the one third 130 to 140 your frequency is 11 okay then for your next uh, for 140 to 150 the frequency is 14 okay likewise you have your data over here I hope you understood the histogram part. We use hist function to find the histogram of the data. Okay. Thank you.